I've never used a ceramic burner before so I had what turns out to be the not so bright idea to fit a ceramic burner to this 084 scratch built loco I'm trying to make. It had originally been intended and the boiler was laid out for a spirit burner. Simply swapping over to the ceramic burner, not a good plan. I have lost all my enthusiasm for this scratch built uh, 084 Freelance. A previous attempt, I mean I have run it on air if you've seen the previous videos, but a previous attempt to fire the boiler simply did not work. Unsurprisingly I decided because the burner worked well in the air, I decided that the problem was insufficient oxygen in the um, around the burner to give proper ignition. And of course the reality is that the firebox had been designed for spirit and um, there was a bit of a wheel to get a ceramic burner in and the burner I think was, uh, I originally put the burner far too high in the firebox and that's why uh, proper ignition could not take place. I also think I'm going to have to make a new boiler for this because looking at it it's all wrong I think. Um, the, the, the tube of the boiler is about I think it's about inch and seven eighths diameter outside nominal and I think for this locomotive if I ever get to it the boiler diameter needs to be rather bigger and instinctively I'm thinking it needs to be about two and an eighth an inch or whatever the standard sizes are but I don't have any seamless copper tube of that size so I'm going to have to acquire some before I do any re remaking. I also think the boiler is too long um, and I'm planning on if I remake it trimming about half an inch off its length. I'm not sure if any of this is coming out um, but there's flames coming out in all directions, which is uh, not a great sign. Um, I've got no idea really. I'm just going to leave it for a bit and see what, if anything, happens. You maybe can't see, but the burner's burning with a nice blue flame and the ceramic's got a nice sort of orange glow about it. So I'm hoping that's okay and for sure something's warming up because uh, the boiler's now too hot to touch with my hand. I suppose I should have made a health warning that anyone with any common sense shouldn't do any of this but I'm too old to care frankly. Lots of leaks from bits of pipe work and whatnot. Not unusual at this stage of a new locomotive it's not uh, fully prepared. Um, I don't feel very optimistic really that this is going to go. I've run it on air so Theoretically, but who knows, really. Let's try and clear some. Condensate. I'll put a bit of rag on the bench because my bench is going to be as rusty as anything after this escapade. the regulator shuts off so that's something isn't it? Well I don't think this is progress exactly but I have found an old pressure gauge which I've screwed to the top of the boiler 
I must test it to see if it works. I think it does, but it's actually not moving. So the inference is this ceramic burner is just not putting enough heat into the boiler. I thought I could try putting a bit of lagging around it. But I mean, it's quite a warm day and we're in the workshop, so there's no wind. So I am surprised that there's no pressure showing. Well, this is quite a learning curve. As you can see, I've got the boiler out of the loco and on the bench. I think the gas just ran out, but that doesn't matter. Um, and what I've found is that this ceramic burner needs to be a lot lower in the firebox. So there's a much greater height above the flame before it gets to the top of the firebox. Which has surprised me. But with that position there, this burner, when it's alight, which it isn't at the moment because I've just run out of gas, uh, but when this burner's alight, it lights evenly from one side to the other. And although we've run out of gas, we've got about 30 odd pounds showing on the gauge. And as you see, we've got a steam leak up the front. Um, because the regulator's not shutting off correctly. Well, I don't care about that. So, um, yeah. This boiler's no good. I'm going to have to build a new boiler. It's not big enough. It doesn't have water, enough water capacity. But we've certainly learnt something about ceramic burners today. Suddenly I'm beginning to feel a little bit happier. Uh, I was about to give up on ceramic burners altogether. But as usual, it turns out to be operator error or the ignorance of one Mr. Ed White. Pressure's continuing to climb. It's now gone comfortably over 40 psi. So if I had a properly proportioned boiler, no doubt in the loco, it would be fine. This is just a dead test on the boiler. I don't have a safety valve installed and uh, we're certainly over 50 psi and probably approaching 60. I think I better turn this burner off. I'm not sure. I've raised the height of the boiler at the uh, firebox end, back end, um, a fair bit to make the boiler more level and also uh, probably increase the water depth a little bit and uh, that's allowed me to drop the uh, ceramic burner a bit so that I've got a better flame height in the firebox. So this is yet another test to see if I can get the thing to uh, run on a bit of steam. I still think I need to make a new boiler however, I think the boiler is too small, the diameter is too small. Best time ever. On steam, it's not holding pressure very well. The fire can't keep up. But it went round. Uh, progress of assault. I'll go back to the top. Okay. 
try and actually maintain 20 psi so we ain't got enough heat going into this but anyway ceramic burners and meets the eye. Clearly a whole lot's about to go up in flames because of the insulation tape I've put around the lagging. Ask me if I'm bothered. Man alive that's hot. Boiler stroke burner combination is absolutely friggin' hopeless. No question about that. Once again, my enthusiasm for this project has evaporated. So it's back on the shelf, and I began to make another marine engine. So hopefully I'll have a bit more fun and that will produce, prove more productive than this 084.